What's up, everybody, man? It's your host with your most. Your boy, Dub Q, is back in the building for another episode of Black Cat Panda Podcast, man. So make no mistake about it. Look, we back in here. Y'all already know we ain't going nowhere. Uh, before we get started in this thing, make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe to the channel. Show that love. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Your boy, Dub Q, is in the building. So without further ado, let's get on into it if we're going to get into it. Uh, look. You see it. The topic is up there. The cornerback room. Uh, how are we feeling about this cornerback room going forward? And, and, and let's be real about it. Can they stay healthy is the real question about what's going around in Carolina. Because make no mistake about it, the Carolina Panthers have had a bevy of cornerbacks in this last previous season. We've had a bevy of guys that just lined up opposite of J.C. Horn, opposite, uh, well, D. Jack wasn't there majority of the year last year. He was injured. Uh, once again, C.J. Henderson was in the building. Keith Taylor was in the building. Uh, Stanley Thomas Oliver was injured and in the building, man. It doesn't get any worse than that. <sighs> and, and, and we just picked up a guy named Herb Miller. So let's talk, let's talk about this cornerback room one. First of all, the projected starters is J.C. Horn and Dante Jackson. Action Jackson is what we call him. But uh, make no mistake about it. He's already questionable with an Achilles. Um, you know, the injuries are us. And it seems to be the case for the Carolina Panthers, especially with Dante Jackson, especially with J.C. Horn having a couple of freak in incidents that, you know, basically held him out. The question is, should we look to upgrade this cornerback room and get a couple of guys in here that can be healthy, guys that we can depend upon, guys that can be reliable? The answer is always going to be yes. You can never have too many bodies and dependable bodies at that because make no mistake about it. To me, Keith Taylor and CJ Henderson injured or non injured are the biggest liabilities on this squad. Make no mistake about it. I'll echo that to the ends of, to the ends of the earth, to the end of me. Um, those guys, CJ Henderson and Keith Taylor, I have no faith in those guys. Make no mistake about it. Um, it just seems to be when it comes to coverage and, and learning, uh, we got bamboozled with CJ Henderson because I don't know what we saw making that trade with the Jags, sending Dan Arnold and those guys over there and acquiring, sending picks as well. Because we haven't even gotten a slightest bit of production out of CJ Henderson. I mean, think about it. He got 50 solo tackles, one forced fumble, two interceptions, and then pass deflected here at six. But I mean, look at what all he gave in the first five games. This guy had a penalty and a pass interference penalty in each game of the season last year. Screaming liability. If I can, if you beat me, I'm going to pull you down. I'm going to call some way, shape or form for you to hit the ground. And that's what he did. He was not the most liable guy at cornerback. And it's shown in different games, especially in that game where Mike Evans beat him up for three touchdowns over the top. And a league that we say big yardage bombs don't really happen, it happened against us with C.J. Henderson on the clock. I mean, so uh, that's one of the guys that I'm saying right now, we need to find a way. If it was left up to me, him and, him and Keith Taylor would have been cut yesterday because we need a renewed energy, a fresh energy at cornerback, and we need somebody that can come in and really be serious about taking their craft to the next level because after... After being in this league now since 2020, it's 2023, in your third year, you have not manifested not one ounce or resemblance of a pass deflection game. I mean, good God. we I went to the Saints game last year, and everybody in the stands that C.J. Henderson was in going up against Chris Olave. Chris Olave, which is the young and upcoming guy, he could not even turn his head. Like I said, you would hear everybody screaming in Bank of America, turn your head. That's all he had to do. And he couldn't do it. He get beat. He got took in the school by, at the time, a younger receiver that should not be able to put you in, in cuffs like that. But he did it. So shout out to CJ Henderson for not being worth a damn. Um, but I, I'm going to be real with you. It's not only him. Keith Taylor is no better. So that's why I said we must hit this draft and talk to somebody that can come in. J.C. Horn is the undoubtedly the dog in the room. He is the guy that when you look to the elders, he will be the guy to lead us into the next uh, 
the next couple of years. But it's just like after him, there's really nothing else because Dante Jackson to me is not it. I mean, out of the last four or five years, he's stayed hurt, whether it's a groin, whether it's a knee, whether it's an ankle and Achilles. How can you be a, a, a speedy DB and you always, your, your thighs is always sitting on the sideline? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. To be one of the fastest DBs in the league, you stay getting burnt. So I'm going to take my fandom out of it because I'm going to be real with you. We need another cornerback, and we need one in the worst way. Whether that's anybody that you can talk to in this draft to bring in here, please do it, Scott Federer. Please make the Carolina fans real happy. Um, Look, I am tired of seeing us getting burnt over the top, and I'm tired of seeing us having cornerbacks standing up in panther shirts on the sidelines just looking. So it's time to get a reliable guy that can come in, be durable, be able to get on the field and be dependable and give us production. The key word of the day is production. So shout out to Scott Federer. Let's go ahead and make this happen, brother. Y'all already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Dub Q. And I'd like to welcome you guys to the Black Cat Panther podcast, man. Make no mistake about it. Look, you are in the right place.